What is up beautiful people? My name is Jenna and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a screenwriter and director, I make a lot of queer short films, but today I'm going to be reacting to other people's queer short films because I am also a consumer of fine lesbian media and I am also always on the hunt for a good queer short film and there are just so many new ones all the time and I know that it can also kind of be hard to like sift through the abundance of content, so I wanted to point out some really fun or different ones to you um, and find hopefully good short films. I haven't watched these yet, we're gonna react together. Short films that we're gonna react to are on YouTube because I wanted to make sure that they were accessible for all of you and that I could link them for you guys to watch as well. I would recommend watching them before I react to it so I don't spoil anything, you know, we can react together. But, so we're gonna be watching three different short films. We have Piece of Cake, which is about porcelain bride cake toppers Val and Mara who journey across the bakery and away from their assigned grooms to be with one another. Sounds super cute. I want us to include an animated film in the lineup um, and I'm really excited for this. I love this concept. I knew that I had to watch based on the log line alone which shows you how important big hooks can be because I looked at a lot that the log line, log line was something about just like accepting themselves you know and like learning the importance of like self-acceptance and sexuality and that didn't pull me in like this baby did. <laughs> Their little flirtations are already so cute, like the little wink. He did not just slap. This has gotten so dark so quick. Oh my god, and her arm? Oh my god. Yeah, girl, stomp on his foot. There is so much grunting. It's really interesting because it's a no dialogue film. I guess the porcelain people talk just through facial expressions. So much grunting. Okay, we've got the knives, we've got the forks, what about the scissors though? Okay, this is an iconic sapphic fight sequence. I don't think I've seen lesbians fight off their grooms with gigantic utensils like sword fight style, probably ever. Oh my god, the drama! <gasps> oh shit. Oh my god, he's dangling on. This is giving Lion King. Drop him. <sighs> that was the most satisfying shatter. <laughs> Sapphic love is just so sweet and pure. Like, I could cry. Oh my god, stop. The storyboard end credits. Wait, is it a lesbian couple picking out the wedding cake for their own wedding? Stop. Stop. Oh my god, that's so cute. So cute. I really liked this. I've definitely never seen anything like it. Piece of cake was a piece of cake. Love, obsessed. Um, it's just very, like, I love just, like, feel-good things. Um, that's what I want to find. I was looking for some holiday short films. I don't know if they exist in short film format, but send me your favorite queer holiday films because I want to make a special now because I can actually talk about stuff now that the strike, you know, is over. And speaking of the holidays, I wanted to talk briefly about keeping your family safe this holiday season. I know that I am flying home to see my family and I definitely do not want to get any of my extended family sick, you know, going to visit the grandparents, etc. So everyone's talking about the influenza shot and the new COVID-19 shots, which, fun fact, I learned today they are no longer called boosters, it's just the COVID-19 shot. But what does all of this mean for you? you and your shots and what's recommended for you. The flu vaccine prevents millions of illnesses and flu-related doctor's visits each year by up to 60%. And as far as COVID-19, the CDC recommended vaccines from Moderna and Pfizer slash BioNTech um, for everyone six months and older. An updated vaccine from Novavax also became available last month and it is available for anyone over the age of 12. These are no longer considered boosters, but the new shots have been updated to fight against the currently circulating variants of the coronavirus. And you can actually get your updated COVID-19 vaccine at the same time that you get your flu shot. There have been many questions about this, but the data is in. You can get both of them at once. I know that I am because I don't want my arm to like hurt you know, two times. I'm gonna knock it all out at once. Why not? Also, if you are over the age of 60 or you're currently spending a lot of time around infants, it's also recommended that you talk to your doctor about potentially getting the RSV vaccine as well. This year marks the first time that the U.S. has vaccines available against all three of these respiratory illnesses of coronavirus, RSV, and the flu. The more you know, okay? Now back to the gay 
We are going to watch Adeline, which is a drama centered around forbidden love, abuse, and compassion. A dying woman recounts the story of her forbidden love affair with a girl in Catholic school. Juicy, dramatic, um, it's French, but it has English subtitles. That is some gay knowing. Okay, old gays really tug at my heartstrings. That's a way to get me to cry immediately, so I already feel like I am gonna cry. Whoa, okay, I love this transition from the past to the present. That can be hard to pull off. They did an amazing job, okay, but like, nun stuff? is never good. The flask in the religious school is a canon event. We cannot interfere. Um, the way that this is shot just feels really gay, just in like how they are looking at each other um, and how, you know, her love interests, it's just like her eyes. Like it just feels very female queer gaze and I like when things feel like that. It just feels very like authentic and sensual. Oh my god, the photo of them. These actresses, the acting in this is really good. Oh my god, the nun trauma. I mean, I would jump like that too. Like, that is scary. Threatening the gaze with hell is just a classic move. I would say it doesn't get old, but honestly, it kind of does. Oh wait, shit, that's not her walking in, is it? Wait. Okay, like... Is it just me or does she look like a lot younger? I'm kind of confused because if she was like writing the letter then like why wouldn't she just show up? I'm like really wondering why it took so long to write the letter or show up. It does have really beautiful cinematography and acting even if plot wise, you know, it's a little more stylistic than like plot driven and it is a little bit abrupt I think. I would love like to know more. <laughs> of their story, but you know, it's a short film obviously. I'm so excited. Um, this film is called Lucky Fish, um, and this says, in her debut short film, writer and director Emily Mae Jample, I'm sorry if I say that right name wrong, stages the perfect meet cute between two Asian American teenagers who share a similar distaste for their respective family's expectations about who they should be. Do you have a crush on her? No. Okay, ally younger sister, it's that's so kind of true. iconic. Okay, I love these shots. Again, hot. Like, it feels hey, so like, yeah. female gaze. How are like this and the Adeline boy. one. Like, you can feel it. What? Maybe I can feel it because I'm gay, but, like, it hurts um, my heart. And, like, that's how women uh, view other women. It's and it's different. You know, it hits different, I think. I mean, it's, it's, it's <laughs> the lesbian no, art it's school, not. the sister. Damn, I want to go there. Honestly, Sarah Lawrence. This sounds like a great place. Yep. I, I also like that it seems like she's out, to like, shop. to her family. Obviously, it's still, like, a point of contention. Um, but the fact hey, that, like, her mom and sister know that she's gay, and that's so not, it. it's not about the gay. <laughs> Loving that. This is a pretty, like, intense conversation to be having in the bathroom. But, like, vibes? It's fine, lesbians. You know, we move in warp speed. We're getting intimate, fast. We want to know no, each other's like, secrets within the first five minutes. Like, that is Wait, honestly um, realistic. Okay, but would you go to though? a mystery room upstairs with a random hot girl from a bathroom? Honestly, yes. Like, I feel like I would. <laughs> There's so much tension. Wow. So, Homegirl really has so many questions for a stranger, but, like, go off, girlies. This is absolutely your first date. You're U-hauling tomorrow. Like, these are the important, hard-hitting questions about your family trauma. <laughs> Do you want to try? The cinematography questions? is really beautiful. Oh my god, are they about to kiss? Oh, tension. Gay I'm tension. Not You're really kids. pretty. Really pretty. Oh. What? Gay embarrassment. Oh, sorry. oh I don't it's know It's the, the classic oh, cycle. This is really sweet. These moments without, like, even though they are talking a lot, like a lot is being said, the moments that they are not talking also, okay. I think, are playing... Really nicely. I like how this beat plays yeah. out. Now they're about to kiss. <gasps> ah! It's so cute. Okay, purr. Yes, they're just going for it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Back to dinner just like that. Nothing even happened. Where have you been? Is the other girl like still Bad there? When are they gonna like exchange numbers? Like they're just gonna see each other again, right? It's not even about that. It can just be about like little small moments and that's when I think shorts are really effective is capturing a really tiny little moment. I think this one was really effective in that. I think that this is my favorite short film out of all of them. Let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite short film and let me know what I should react to next. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!